Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries. Coming to you guys today with a video on what's more important, you guys, the chicken or the egg. Okay, you guys. When I say um what's more important, the chicken or the egg, I'm basically talking about what well, I'm literally talking about what's more important, the man's role or the female's role when it comes to creating a child. Um, a lot of times people, in my opinion, they place too much emphasis on time. Some people say, you know, well, I feel like the woman's role is more important when it comes to creating a child because she has to carry the child for nine months. And then some people say, well, I believe the man's role is more important because the man's sperm is what helps create the child. In my opinion, I feel like creating a child or the conception of a child, however you want to term it, it's 50-50. I feel like there is no one role that is more important than the others because without one, there cannot be the other. So there's not one woman on the face of this earth, to my knowledge. Correct me if I'm wrong, as I always like to say. I'm always up to learn new things. But there's not one woman on the face of this earth that can have a child without a man's sperm. Not one. Not one. So... But that being said, I feel like the roles are equal. Just like without a woman, a man cannot, uh, without a woman, a man cannot have a baby brought into the world, you know, and a woman cannot bring a baby into the world without a man's sperm. So it's like, they're, they're equal. It's like the man needs the woman to be able to carry that child to turn, to bring that child into the world. And a woman needs a man's sperm in order to make that child, to be able to carry that child, to bring that child into the world. So in my opinion, they're equal. A lot of people kind of feel like, well, because you know, the man gets to have, the man gets to be all, they all, they're, they're, they're creating a child feels pleasurable. It's like, well, really it should feel pleasurable to you too, but that's another video. But it's like, regardless of the feeling of it, um, giving birth might not be the most pleasant experience, but the after part of it is bliss, you know? So in that aspect, it's like they're both very pleasurable at different times for different people, I guess you could say. Um, but they're equal. They're, they're just, one is just as important as the other. Um, I hear a lot of women that say things like, you know, um, my role is more important because I had to carry the child for nine months. And it's literally like that's literally what your body is made to do. You say it as though uh, a man has the option to carry a child for nine months, but he just chooses not to, so then the woman does it. And it's like, no, like you're literally like, you're made to be able to do that. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand that not all women are able to conceive, not all women are able to carry children to term. I do understand that some women have difficulties in that. But the women who are able to do that, it's like, that's what your body is made to do. Like, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You know, you, nobody, nobody chose the amount of time that it takes to develop a child. That just is the time. Some people don't carry a kid to nine months. Some people carry kids to, they, they have kids earlier than nine months and the children come out preemies, but the children, you know, they still live and they still thrive and they're fine. You know, and then some people have children that they have children at term and then the children come out and sometimes the children are still bo uh, born, God forbid, but it's like your job is to grow a baby. Like that's, that's your body's job when you get pregnant. It's not, you don't have a choice in the matter. That's just how it goes. Just like your breasts create milk to feed your child. So I feel like a lot of times women kind of, put too much emphasis on time when it's like both roles are important both roles are important now I'm not talking about the whole like you know um I didn't know I was pregnant type thing when I say like you know like that's what your body like that's what you're supposed to do or whatever it's like I understand that there are people who get pregnant and they don't know that they're pregnant but it's like for the people who know that they're running the risk of getting pregnant and you get pregnant it's like to complain about it or kind of feel like, you know, what I'm doing is more important than what the man does. To me, that's just kind of foolish because it's like, that's your makeup. Like that's, that's, that's what we're made to do, whether we're capable of doing it or not, um, or whether we're able to do it or not. That's, you know, that's a diff, that's a different video. That's a different topic, but women are like that. A lot of women are the, who are able to have children that's what your body is supposed to do. I hear a lot of women say things like, um, well, uh, my role is more important because I could die um, having a baby. And it's like, yeah, it is true that you could die having a baby, 
But when you get pregnant and you make the conscious decision to keep your baby and carry your baby to term and have that baby, then that's kind of what you're signing up for. You're signing up for that possibility. You, Everybody's pregnancy is different. Everybody's body reacts differently to pregnancy. So you don't know if you're going to get preeclampsia um, when you're pregnant. You don't know if you're going to have issues. You don't know if your water is going to break early. You don't know if your baby's going to be sick or if your baby's going to come out of stillborn. Like You don't know. These are risks that you run when you make the choice to carry a child. So it's like you saying like, oh, well, you know, I could die if I have a baby. It's like, yeah, you could. But you're still making the conscious decision to have this child. So that's something that you're kind of like, you're kind of signing up for. That's like when people sign up for the army, they know that they could die. They don't want to die in, in a war. They don't want to die when they go off to war. But they know that this is something that they could they that, that could possibly happen. And this is what they 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 sign up for. It. They literally sign up for it. So it's like this is part, it's part of it. Doesn't mean that it will happen. But it's a possibility that it could happen. And when you're pregnant and you go to the doctor, at least my doctor, she told me those things. She told me like, you know, you need to do this. You need to do it. like I was anemic. I was very anemic and I had to take iron pills for seven months, three times a day um, when I was pregnant with my son. And she literally told me, literally told me, she was like, she said, you don't have enough blood to deliver your baby and you both live and for me it was like say less so I took the pills three times a day for seven months that's how that's how anemic I was I had to take iron pills that long three times a day for seven months in order to build my blood up so that when I deliver my son like I would be okay and my son would be okay so but it's like when you make those choices it's like you run the risk of bad things happening because that's just, unfortunately that's just how life is but it kills me when women try to put more emphasis on their role when it comes to having a baby when in my opinion again I feel like they're equal it's like okay yeah you have to carry the baby your body gets swollen and all of this stuff but it's like you you signed up to have like it's like you agreed to have the baby you wanted to have the baby so it's like you could have done things i'm not trying to promote anything but i'm just saying if you didn't want to have the baby you nine times out of ten you didn't have to have the baby some people don't learn that they're pregnant until later on and that's unfortunate if you don't want to have the baby and it, those are just different risks um people everybody doesn't get pregnant because they started out having unprotected sex people get pregnant because condoms break things happen you know, kind of slip off. It, things happen. I get that. But at the same time, this is for the people who get pregnant and they consciously are like, I'm going to have this baby. It's like you, you're signing up for the possibility of bad things happening. Or you're signing up for the possibility of having health issues and things like that due to you being pregnant because everybody's body doesn't react the same way um, to pregnancy everybody's pregnancy different every person who has more than one child their pregnancies are different so it's just one of those things where I just always kind of felt like women kind of make it seem like their roles are more important than the men when it's like to me they're they're equal they're both they're both important me personally I enjoy being pregnant everybody I tell that they're like you're weird but I did like I was pregnant all summer I, I really don't see what the fuss was about I feel like it depends on the person um but I didn't have an issue with it I was nine months pregnant still time of shoes all that but it was just like okay well what are we doing next type thing it's like okay and the preg the delivery was it wasn't rough you know I had them in three hours it wasn't a big deal I didn't get any epidural or anything like that but I have a high t a pain tolerance but it's like that's my experience everybody else's experience not like that I didn't have any complications any issues during the pregnancy other than being anemic and having to take the iron pills three times a day which was not a big deal for me but I just always kind of felt like Sometimes I, I do kind of feel like women, you know, and I'm a woman, of course, and I, but I, I have my, I have my feelings about, about us. I, I really do. I'll, I'll make some more videos uh, regarding these topics, but like, yeah. Um, so in conclusion, I feel like 
when it comes to what's most important, the, the chicken or the egg, I feel like it's equal. They're both important, regardless of the time it takes to do either, either tomato, tomato. I feel like they're even, so... That's it, you guys. So as always, that's going to be it for me, Candace the Aries, and always remember to enjoy the journey.